what goes through your mind and, and, and how do you approach a situation like that? Um, uh, I mean, I feel like I was pretty ready for it. So um, there wasn't really a sense of nerve or anything like that. Um, it really just turned into me getting fully locked in uh, and just getting ready to, to play. How do you feel like you performed in your first career NBA start tonight? Uh, pretty good. I feel like I pushed the pace and defended. Um, I think I took my open shots, uh, which has been big for me, and um, just trusting my work, and uh, my teammates helped me out with the rest. Is this just part of another step of your NBA career? I mean, we talk about summer league preseason debut, now first start. Just how has this process been for you so far? Um, it's been good. Uh, you know, I'm, since the season been started, I've just been trying to uh, get my routines down and, and start to get in the flow of the season and um, kind of just learn how it all goes. And my teammates have been doing a good job helping me with that. So uh, transition has definitely been a lot smoother than it could have been. Paolo, you know, your group so often talks about having trust in one another and, and, and doing things by committee. You know, when you have a number of injuries and you have to adjust on, on short notice, just how much belief do you have in the guys around you that, that they'll step up and perform like they did tonight? Uh, yeah, I mean, these guys is ready. You see it every day. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, shit, I'm looking right now. Plus 32 for my, for my dog right here. That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> Plus 32 is nuts. Um, so, yeah, he just stepped up right away. Um, I said in a court interview that Goga, he set the tone with that block on AD to start the game. Like, um, and then the AB just coming in, being fearless. Um, I mean, I can't give enough credit to those guys. Paolo, after starting the week, you know, in LA with the loss and seeing them again tonight, they started to make that run in the third quarter and the way that you guys came out and responded and sort of pushed the lead back out. Can you just talk about the way that this team responded and the way that you guys are growing? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, that's a team that with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, um, the other shot makers they have on the court, you know, they can storm back at any moment, and you gotta you got to know that. So, but at the same time, you don't want to get timid. You want to stay aggressive. Um, they were kind of sitting in that zone to try and slow us down. And uh, kind of at first, we were, you know, being passive and trying to, like, overanalyze and, and figure it out. And uh, coach told us in the huddle, just, you know, attack. Don't, you know, don't waver. Don't try and overanalyze. Just go. And so we were able to knock down some shots, get some get some baskets to um, keep the lead. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's a lot of growth from, from last season. Uh, you know, not saying we would have blown that lead last season, but just the poise that we had in, in the huddle um, throughout the whole game. You know, being able to w lead the whole game and, and keep the lead and, and not, uh, you know, let them come back was, was huge. So proud of the team. Maybe you look like, uh, you know, you look like you're carrying yourself as a professional and you've been, you know, pretty business as usual. But do you realize, like, the moment that you just had right now, you started against the Lakers, against LeBron, plus 32. You know, what does 10-year-old Anthony Black think of where you are right now? Uh, he's probably a little surprised. Um, <laughs> but I, I, it definitely started to, to set in pregame. Uh, kind of just the jump ball and being out there playing against the Lakers. Uh, my first start. Um, but after that little moment, it was really just basketball again. AB over here as well. Um, you've played minutes throughout the early part of the season, but to have extended time like this tonight, how much does that help you and your confidence to kind of get back into the flow of playing more complete games at this point? Uh, yeah, I definitely think it's good uh, for me to get back into the flow, like you said. Um, I haven't really, I mean, we played a little in camp, but. Uh, playing this amount of minutes, I haven't really did that since summer league. So, um, you know, I think it was it was good for me to get out there and kind of get a feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's just basketball. But I definitely uh, felt like I was I was pretty prepared for it. Hello for you. You had career high ten assists tonight. I think you had nine last game as well. Has that been an emphasis for you for you just to facilitate the basketball this early in the season? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think I had five last game, but um, an all good. But uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, yeah. I think just being able to set my teammates up, and um, this has always been a part of my game. Um, and just the way teams load up when I have the ball, something that you know I didn't really understand how to um, use to my advantage to late last year, and then over the summer, just watching a lot of film and seeing just how many guys are open when I do have the ball because of the defense and how they load up to help. 
you know, just trying to um, expose that and, and get guys open shots. And I trust them to knock it down. Everybody um, step into it with confidence. And um, yeah, I mean, a lot of those assists weren't really me making a crazy pass. It was just my teammates being open and ready to knock it down. So I give credit to them. Any important message you want to give to any family and friends back home in Texas after your first career start? Seeing them watching you grow up and then now having this moment? Um, just thanks for the support. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'm making everybody back home proud. Yes, that's about it. Uh, Paolo, uh, we, Coach said before the game that, you know, at this stage of the season, you want to see trends and things kind of trending in the right direction. But the defense has been pretty consistent over the first six games. How big of a statement? Is it to, to defend at this high of a level, you know, against a quality team like the Lakers, and, and have it kind of carry through game by game by game through this early part of the season? <clears throat> yeah, no, I think it's huge. Um, you know, that was the the first thing that was you know kind of emphasized in camp was defense, and that was going to be our, what we hung our hat on um, was that side of the ball. And you know, I think with just our team, our personnel, we don't look at any other team and really think that we can't match up, you know, man to man. Like with the size, length, the athleticism we have, there's a lot of teams that, you know, are just gonna have problems based off of that. And so then when you add in the the discipline, the you know, the communication that we have on that and it makes it really hard um for anybody. So and we know that. And so we try to, you know, make it difficult for, for guys night in, night out. And um, you know, we've been doing a great job of that. So, you know, I'm happy with how we've been playing.